Hello friends, my name is Radha Masu. Today we will discuss about a topic requirement traceability matrix. Friend, today's topic is very interesting and very important with respect to project management. If you are studying project management in university or you are planning to give exam of PMP, so this is a very very important topic in project management and uh, if you talk about with respect to uh, exam point of view especially with respect to PMP exam uh, this is a very important topic and at least four to five questions will definitely be there in the exam in which your concept related to requirement traceability matrix will definitely be checked secondly friend if you are a professional project manager and working in any organization as a project manager so this is necessary for you to understand the concept of requirement traceability matrix in the professional and implementation life of project manager so that you can use this document as this concept in your professional life of project management so friend let's start first of all i would request to please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you so let's start requirement traceability matrix friend first of all try to understand that this is a topic which is directly related to project management and we have taken this concept or this topic from PMBOK project management body of knowledge so purely this is a topic of uh, project management first of all we have to understand that what is a project friend project is uh, as per the definition of PMBOK project is a temporary thing which has a beginning and ending point and it gives you a unique output or product or service or result so that means for example if you are uh, implementing a mobile application so it's a project if you are building a house it's a project if you are building a flyover it's a project if you are uh, introducing a new business process in your company so it's a project so now uh, the pro uh, requirement traceability matrix it has a link with a project why because see friend whenever we are implementing projects so uh, we we have some requirements requirement means for example functional requirement like for example if you are implementing e-commerce solution and customer want that user can uh, can browse the categories uh, in the e-commerce solution so it's a requirement customer can do payments through credit card it's a uh, requirement customer can uh, compare the uh, compare the product with any other product in terms of in terms of cost or features so it's a requirement so if you have the clear about uh, clear idea about the requirement so now see the requirement traceability matrix so if you see there are three terms requirement traceability matrix requirement means functionality which is required in a project by the customer traceability means that you can trace it like throughout the project from starting till end you can trace like are you filling, fulfilling the requirement or not of matrix means the comparison so now the requirement traceability matrix or short form is RDM is a document that links requirements throughout the validation process the purpose of the requirement traceability matrix is to ensure that all requirements defined for a system are tested in the test protocol the traceability matrix is a tool both for the validation team to ensure that requirements are not lost during the validation project and for auditor to review the validation documentation see friend basically the concept of requirement traceability matrix is that whatever the requirement you receive it should have to be validated and tested properly see for example functional requirement was that a customer can uh, do the payment through the credit card for example on e-commerce solution this is the functionality this is the functional requirement okay the user requirement the user can do the payment through the credit card now if we talk about requirement traceability matrix it should be mapped with some test scenarios test scenarios like customer can do the payment through visa card customer can do the payment through uh, mastercard credit card customer can do the payment through uh, UPI credit card etc so you must have to make some scenarios and you must have to test it properly thoroughly and you must have to sh make sure that whatever the uh, whatever the requirements are there it should have to be mapped or linked with some testing protocols test scenarios and you have to make sure that customers requirements should be tested validated properly it should not be happen like if customer says something and uh, during the project execution and during the project implementation due to some reason it lost somewhere 
so the purpose of requirement traceability matrix is that you must have to document the requirements properly and you have to make sure that whatever the requirements you received it should have to be tested validated and it should have some link with the test scenarios like for example just take the same example here i'm just giving you a simple example very simple example of uh, the requirement traceability matrix just assume that this is the functional requirement just take an example like uh, the program will have a functional audit trail as well this is the functional requirement that whatever the program you are executing it should have some audit trail audit trail means like it should have some log that who has approved the request who has rejected rejected the request who has used the option at what time etc so this is the very general and simple concept of audit trail the functional requirement uh, is that the program will have a functional audit trail this is the functional requirement and the design specification says that each from form will use the audit trail in the uh, on update event procedures this is the design uh, specification I remember notice uh, maybe you notice that design specification is more technical as compared to functional requirement and the test case 3 step 52 audit trail verification so see functional requirement mapped with the design specification and then it mapped with the test cases so this is an example of requirement traceability matrix you know that uh, there was some requirement from the customer that your program should have some audit trail then you make map it with the design specification then you map it with the test cases so you must have to make sure that this test case should be executed and should be validated and tested thoroughly properly so that you make sure that this requirement should not be lost anywhere because see friend here the main objective of making the requirement traceable matrix is that whatever the requirement customer has raised it should have to be documented properly and it should have to be mapped with some test cases so that we have to make sure that whatever the requirement we receive it should not be lost somewhere it should be tested validated properly so the traceability matrix can show the requirement coverage in the number of test cases a design status as well as execution status for the specific test case if there is any user acceptance test to be done by the users uh, then UAT status can also be captured in the same matrix the related defects and the current state can also be mentioned in the same matrix see friend here uh, the uh, requirement traceability matrix which were we were discussing uh, earlier basically it was a very simple requirement uh, traceability matrix in which we have just show you that requirement traceability matrix should record the requirement and also it should have to make sure that whatever the requirement is there it should be mapped with some test cases as well and obviously friend the test cases will have the result as well like for example we were discussing that for example uh, we have we were discussing that the audit trail should be there in the uh, functional requirement in the program and you have mentioned that we have already make the test cases as well now see the test cases would have some results as well like you have executed the test case uh, either it will be executed successfully either it will be failed so there could be many fields as well in the requirement traceability matrix so the purpose of uh, uh, showing this screen is that remember friend one thing that requirement traceability matrix in actual when we make it should have uh, thorough knowledge it should have proper knowledge as well like whatever the requirement was there uh, what was the design specification there what were, what was the test case which was mapped with it and what was the status result of uh, validation and uh, what were the uh, st uh, status comments as well remarks as well so so many uh, so many statuses are there so many uh, fields are there in the real time when we make the uh, requirement traceability matrix uh, in the real time uh, in the real scenario requirement traceability matrix is not so simple it has some proper fields proper validations proper test results and proper uh, commenting comments are also very necessary so the friend the bottom line of uh, requirement traceability matrix is that basically we must have to make sure that requirements of customer should be properly logged and recorded in the requirement traceability matrix and we have to make sure that it should be mapped with the test cases so that we can 
validate we can test it properly thoroughly that whatever the requirement we have received it should not be lost anywhere it should be properly tested and validated so friend thank you thanks a lot for your time and that's all from my side thank you